Hi there, Bon Crowder here with Math4.com. Math is not a four-letter word. Talking about Cuisinier rods and fractions. So today I'm going to add two-thirds and five-sixths. And how about we turn off the fan so it's not so loud. Two-thirds plus five-sixths. And I'm going to use my sweet little Cuisinier rods. So I have them handy here, and I've got a grid... It's actually a photocopy of some, let's do it this way. So I have two thirds plus five six. So I'm actually representing the fractions with the rods themselves. So this is a two unit over a three unit and a five unit over a six unit. So then I take and I go, okay, so these bottoms don't match this size and this size are not the same. So I'm going to, the rule is it's going to be the same value if I can do, I can duplicate it the same amount of time. So I do instead of one red and one light green, I do two reds and two light greens. So two reds and two light greens. Now I do this, I chose the light green because light green, two light greens, oops, two light greens make one dark green. So I want my, my common denominator, if you will, is going to be this length here, this two light greens, which is the same as one dark green. So I'm going to move this guy, copy him down. And I'm adding here. Oop. Add. <clears throat> so now I have a dark green on the bottom, so I can I can convert the rods. Dark green and then a four, which is the same as purple. So this guy is the same as this guy. And because I don't have enough rods, I'm going to have to start duplicating here, stealing from the top. So now I have a common denominator. So I'm going to swipe this one totally away. My common denominator is this dark green. And then I have purple plus yellow is my numerator. So now I have to convert again. And again, I have to swipe. Oop. So this is really a dark green and a dark green. And then, so that's the bottom dark green and the top to here and then a light green. So this shape and distance is the same as this shape and distance. So I'm going to go over here to do a little bit of reducing. So this is one, one piece, and then these three pieces, but again, we keep the same denominator. So I'm going to take this. This is getting interesting, isn't it? So this is one, one, and one over this. So really, okay, just back. So the, the, what we have left is one and three over this bit. Now, this is where, so our answer is one and three over six. So how do we deal with three over six? Well, now we've got we can convert the denominator into pieces and the numerator into pieces like so. And the reason why I chose the white and the red, not because I'm in the Christmas spirit, but because there's three each of them. So indeed, light green over dark green is the same as, say, three whites over two light greens. That's the same. But there's three on the top and there's two on the bottom. 
So what I need is matching three on the top and three on the bottom. Because what I can do then is, if I have three on the top and three on the bottom, I can remove one and I can remove two. So as long as they're the same amount on the top and the bottom, then that works. So when we had one and three sixths, though so the three sixths is now one half. So our final answer, if I can write correctly, is one and one half. So that's how to add fractions using Cuisinier rods. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I am over and out. This is Bon Crowder with Math4.com reminding you that math is not a four-letter word.